Welcome to Origins, where we go over the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. And now it's time to go over a surprise origin I didn't tell anyone that we were going to do. He's going to help us wrap up our Lantern Origins for now, and he's a member of the Justice League Origins, so he kind of covers both bases for us. His name is Hal Jordan. Now, we've gone over bits and pieces of him in other origin stories, but what actually happened to Hal directly? Things begin early for Hal Jordan. He opens his own story by telling us that he witnessed his worst fear at a very young age. His own father dying in front of his eyes, while saving the entire Air Force base. His family was torn apart by this event, with his older brother getting angry because he was now the man of the house, and his younger brother not even fully aware of what happened. Hal himself, though, he pulled away from his only real friend at this point, Carol Ferris, and he decided to follow in his father's footsteps. He went to school and eventually became a pilot for the U.S. Air Force, which eventually led him back to Ferris Aircrafts, where his father was stationed and eventually perished. Well, one day in a routine training run, Hal ignored protocol and just flew around like he wanted, because as he said, his only real issue as a pilot was that he ignored fear. He was terrified 90% of the time with everything that he was doing because he knew it could get himself killed, but he never let those fears hold him back. Fear was a crutch that he wouldn't use. So this got him demoted from flying the planes to tuning them. But this didn't change anything. He still wasn't afraid and he still refused to back down from anything due to fear. Well, that must have been exactly what the Green Lantern Ring sensed in him when it reached out to him because it flew over to him telling him that he had been chosen, and it immediately picked him up and it moved him to the crash site, the crash site of Albin Sur. Albin Sur had been transporting Atrocitus to Earth to find Black Hand, and to stop the Blackest Night before it could even start, but Atrocitus had gotten free, and he mortally wounded Albin Sur on his way out to find the Black Hand. As he lay there dying, the ring sought out a suitable replacement, and Hal Jordan was found. Abin Sir explained as he was gasping for air that the ring was the most powerful weapon in the universe, and the wearer of this ring must agree to combat all evil wherever it exists. Do you accept, Earthling? Hal had no idea what any of this meant at this time. All he knew is that this was terrifying him. But he never ran from fear, and he wasn't about to start doing it this day. He always charged towards fear, and he told Abin Sir, absolutely. And with that, the Green Lantern Ring stated, Hal Jordan of Earth, you have the ability to overcome great fear. Welcome to the Green Lantern Corps. He was then taken to Oa at the center of the universe, and that's where he trained to be a proper Green Lantern in the service of the Green Lantern Corps. He worked with Kilowog, and he became friends with Abin Sur's student, Sinestro. Sinestro eventually took Hal Jordan from Kilowog, and he brought him back to Earth, where they sought out Abin Sur's killer and brought him to justice. What they discovered is that Atrocitus had made a weapon that could absorb light constructs, and he was about to kill Black Hand with this weapon. But Hal Jordan and Sinestro stopped Atrocitus before he could do anything, and they took him back to his homeworld of Yasmult, where he swore revenge against Sinestro. Black Hand would also run off from this event, as Hal Jordan had no idea what he would become later. Eventually, Hal would face off against another coincidence, the girl that he had a crush on when he was young, and now his boss had become the Star Sapphire. And he would have to face off against her multiple times, wiping her memory after each event. But since she had a stance against dating her employees, Hal and her never ended up together after all the times that he saved her. As time went on, Sinestro and Hal Jordan also grew close, and Sinestro decided to bring Hal back to his home world, where he wanted to show him what exercising this power could do if properly regulated. Well, Hal was shocked when he learned that Sinestro had turned his homeworld into a militaristic world where they feared him and everyone was scared to move. Realizing that Sinestro was abusing his power, Hal had the Guardians banish him into exile. Sinestro would later return as the leader of the Yellow Lantern Corps to face off against Hal in another story arc known as the Sinestro Corps War. But that's a story for another day. Hal would go on to become one of the greatest Green Lanterns and the focal point of all of our upcoming Green Lantern stories. Now, being a Green Lantern, he has all of the normal powers of a Green Lantern, such as flight, shields, and the ability to create constructs from anything that he can imagine. And that's all we really have on Hal Jordan without really going in depth into the storylines that we're going to be covering real soon. If you learned something new, please give this video a like, and if you enjoyed it, also give this video a like. If you want to chat about this video or any other ones on this channel, please follow me on Twitter, at ComicStorian. I'm Benny, and I'll see you guys next time, right here.